Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I have done many hydroponic videos and one of the most asked questions is um, which nutrients is best for growing greens? Now I've used many different kinds and I really don't have a preference but today we're going to do some experiment. We're going to test all of the nutrients that I have used before against each other and see which one performed best when um, growing lettuce. So the nutrients we're going to test uh, today is going to be the Maxi Grow, the Aero Garden Plant Food, here's the Flora Series by General Hydroponics, and Master Blend 41838, and this is the three parts. So we're going to mix everything according to the standard mix, and then we're going to test those against each other. Uh, to grow lettuce. So let's go ahead and go pick some lettuce seeds because I have some really fresh ones that are ready. So uh, let's go do that right now. Okay, here are my lettuce seeds. Uh, there are a bunch of them that are ready. So we'll grab some nice one and take them inside and start them out. So I'll just pick a really dry one. That way it's, it's easier to work with like this one here. There's my lettuce seed there. So let's go inside. Okay, here are the lettuce seeds we collected. And we're going to start the seeds in rock wool cubes. These are standard size rock wool. And the reason why I like to use these is because they fit inside this one and a half inch net cup perfectly like that. So that's the reason why I like using these. Okay, for containers, we're going to use these one gallon container that I got from a dollar store. What you're going to do is place the drill on top like so, and then set it to go forward. And then once it attaches itself, and then you can go backward. Set the drill backward, and then you cut, and then cut. And there is your nice perfect hole there and then your net cup fits like on top like so all right guys it has been 13 days and the lettuce are ready so we are going to start the experiment today uh, each of these contain a few of the seedlings but uh, I'm gonna thin out a few and leave just one and see notice the roots are down at the bottom so that's that's this is when you know it's ready we have four plants total because we are testing four types of nutrients. So let me go ahead and start mixing the nutrients to add to these containers. And as I mentioned, we're going to mix everything according to the standard mix. For example, the Maxi Grow here, I'm going to use five um, milliliter or one, one teaspoon. And for the master blend, I'm going to go with the standard mix. And then for the flora series, uh, we're just going to go with the standard mix as well. It'd be five milliliter of each part. So there are three parts. Micro grow and bloom. And then for the aero garden mix, I'm going to do the exact same. It's five milliliter per gallon. As I mentioned, this is just the standard mix. That's what is recommended on the label. We're going to do this test once. And if you guys see that the test is unfair, you can put in the description uh, how you want me to mix. And then we can test that again. So let me go ahead and mix all of them and then add the nutrients to each containers and then we'll plant the lettuce. Okay, the first nutrients we're going to mix is the Aero Garden. I have a gallon of water here. What we're going to do is use pH down to get the pH of the water down to uh, 5.9, around there. It's between 5.5 to 6.5 is good. Uh, that's you know, 5.9 is where I usually like to keep it. Okay, we're going to use a pH meter to read. It's it's sitting right at six. I do the drop so much that I kind of like remember the measurement and I just do it by hand and usually I get it pretty close. Okay, so we're going to shake up the Aero Garden plant food. And then we have this medicine drop here that's exactly 5 milliliter. So we're going to pull 5 milliliter right there and then drop it in here.
All right, next is going to be the Maxi Grow. All right, then the plant. Okay, next up is the Master Blend. And we're doing 332, just uh, the same formula I use for my peppers. And then the last one will be the Flora series. We're going to add all three parts, five milliliter of each. And it's always recommended that you start with the micro. You have to add each part separately, shake it up, wait a few minutes, then keep adding the rest till you're done. Uh, I have a video on how to mix the general hydroponics, so I don't need to go into details. You can just check it out. I'll provide the links. Okay, next we are going to take this into our tent and then I will show you where they go. Okay, let me take you closer so you can have a, a good look at what we have going on. Arrow Garden there, Maxi Grow, Master Blend, General Hydroponic, the light I'm using, Endomax CMH150. So there it is, we'll come back soon and give you updates once there's some progress. All right guys, it has been exactly one week and the plants are looking really nice. They're making very, very good progress. And as you can see, they have almost triple since uh, just one week. So uh, let me show you what they are. That's the Aero Garden Nutrients. And this one here is the Maxi Grove Master Blend. General Hydroponic Flora Series. So far, these two here are in the lead. So, uh, we'll come back soon and uh, let you see another update once there's uh, more progress. Alright guys, welcome back. This is week number two. It's actually been 15 days and I will have to cut out the experiment right here because we're having some problems. As you can see here, the Master Blend container is not growing at well at all. The tips are just drying out and it looks like it's having some problem. And the reason for that is because of algae. Look at all of these algae. You see that? The algae at the bottom. So what's happening here is the algae is restricting the roots from taking up nutrients and oxygen. So this one is not growing at all. And <laughs> it's the worst looking plant. And the best looking plant is the General Hydroponic. And the reason for that, it seems like because the nutrients are, is pink, so it's, that kind of helped prevent algae from growing. As you can see, there's really no algae at all. And then the rest of them, as you can see, look at those. Algae, algae, algae. So um, First, we'll, 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 we'll see, we'll, I'll show you which one looks the best and then which one looks the worst and then we'll, sh we'll show you the root system and all that stuff. So this one looks the best. The General Hydroponic, it's the largest one. It's grown the tallest as well. And then the next up is the Maxi Grow, right here. Grown very nicely. And then the third one, is the Aero Garden Nutrients right here looking quite nice and the worst one is the Master Blend because of the problem so let me show you the problem you see that algae is all over the roots everywhere so the algae is basically competing for uh, resources is taking up all of the oxygen out of the water so the plant doesn't really have a chance so that's why it's looking the worst algae everywhere from top to bottom so let's move this guy out of the way and then the next one here is the uh, Aero Garden 
and same issues with the Aragorn it doesn't it doesn't grow as well as the rest of them and the reason for that is the same you see that there's just algae all over the roots and so it's restricting the plant's ability to take up oxygen and nutrients and then the third and you would notice immediately the difference because the roots are extremely white you see that there's no algae yet the algae are only found at the bottom so this plant is still having a good way to take up nutrients so it it grows pretty well and then the last one here which is the best looking plant the same thing no algae at all so I guess uh, my next experiment I'm gonna have to paint this because uh, painting it will give the plants a better chance to fight against our algae and grow better but anyway uh, that is for the experiment um, if you guys have uh, any suggestion to make the experiment better, I'm sure people is going to say paint the containers darker or to a black color and then redo the experiment. So uh, I will list all of my mixes uh, below in the description so you can check it out. And you can also uh, list some feedback and uh, ways to mix the nutrients to make it uh, a much fairer comparison. Anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoy the experiment. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and thank you for watching.